morning guys it's Jeff with HKS systems lock and safe how you doing today uh, just uploading a quick video this is an interesting one I had to go open up a, a floor safe for somebody and it was a younger guy pretty smart guy obviously smarter than I am most likely but I guess he called me to come repair it so maybe not um, he called he had the in floor safe and he said he was trying to dial it open with his auto dialer which he 3d printed himself and it's been running for three days and now all of a sudden the knob doesn't turn the dial doesn't turn so yeah that's probably a problem so if you don't know he had a sergeant and greenleaf 6730 in there uh, this model you can see way back in there the gear um, that is torque pack they're actually designed to have a little bit resistance on them otherwise as you flung it those would automatically keep spinning if there was no resistance so they are designed to have a little bit of resistance however the speed he was dialing his and the excessive amount of uh, rotation he was doing ended up heating all the stuff up inside and uh, wearing it out and then basically sort of seizing it so the center post section on this is where the spindle would be um, it rides on that all these wheels ride on that and he uh, kept going so much that it basically was like a bearing in your engine without no oil or lubrication there's only a certain amount that comes from the factory typically that is good for the lifetime of the safe but if you're dialing it with an auto dialer that causes a lot more um, wear and tear on it and uh, it ended up seizing it pretty badly and barely able to turn it by hand so no big deal went up there drilled it dialed it open one last time and replaced it with a new one but uh, some of the bad things on the auto dialers are they do wear and tear on the locks pretty badly um, I'm going to be doing a little quick uh, update on the forbidden zones uh, on the safe this week uh, one of the viewers on the uh, lock picking lawyers station asked me to do that so I'm going to do that a little later this week a little busy today but uh, just wanted to show you that also with the uh, auto dialers it spins these wheels around um, we, we all know that but uh, these flies that are movable on here they're actually pretty delicate little guys so um, when you're dialing that and you're smacking those back and forth repeatedly 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 uh, I've never seen it, but I've heard about it that uh, yeah, they'll break right off and then what that happens is No matter what you do Wheel three won't contact the wheel two wheel two won't contact the wheel one You're basically locked out that you're gonna be calling me anyway, so um, Yeah, those are delicate little things. They're called flies. Those are used to uh, To basically time each one of the wheels so they contact each other and uh, if those are damaged, it won't transfer the next to the next wheel to dial. So you have another issue. So, anyways, I'm going to upload his uh, little hand uh, hand uh, handheld device that he made, or it was actually a pretty nice system. I was actually really impressed with it. Uh, uh, and uh, it's a uh, printer, 3D printer he made auto dialer with. So. A lot better than my three thousand dollar one as far as price wise it said it cost him about 80 bucks to make so good for him uh, unfortunately it didn't work so bad for him but good for me so anyways if you need service for uh, safe locks give me a call 847-204-7046 hks systems lock and safe thanks